G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a geometry problem for middle schoolers. Goes as follows. Two 4x4 four four squares intersect at right angles, bisecting their intersecting sides as shown. Well, I've drawn a very bad version of this problem, but it's got two squares, they're 4x4. Four four. Two 4x4 four four squares. Here's a 4x4 four four square, so just like bits of it going in the middle of the circle. Another one here. Uh, they intersect at right angles, okay, 90 degrees. Um, Bisecting their intersecting sides. What does bisecting mean? Um, bisecting means to cut into two parts. In fact, it means cut into two equal parts. All right, all right. So it's four by four squares. Four, 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 and four, except this is halfway along, halfway along. That must be two, and that's four and four. Two, this one gets bisected. Two, four, four, and two. Got it so far. Uh, the circle's diameter is the segment between the points of intersection, the two points of intersection. This is the diameter of the circle. I guess what you assume is true is going on here. Uh, gosh, what's the question saying? Is the diameter? What is the area of the shaded region created by removing the circle from the squares? Basically, what's the area of the shaded stuff? Okay, all right, got the question. That took me a while to read through that one. This figure. Squares intersecting as shown, 90 degrees, circle in the middle, that's the diameter, so that's the radius. What is the area of the two squares minus the intersecting circle business going on there? Huh. All right, what am I going to do here? Well, well, it's an area problem. In fact, strategy number five, which is to solve a smaller version of the same problem, actually applies a lot to geometry. I could actually solve this problem by looking at smaller pieces of area and just add up all the areas. But I'm a little nervous about that. Maybe, actually, I'm going to draw in all the remaining lines. We had squares like this. If I draw those in, what I've really got going, oh, good question, are they touching there? This one's touching, it's not. Hmm, I wonder. What I could do, ah, this is good. I could work out the area of one square. Well, that's easy, four by four is 16. I could then work out the area of the two squares that overlap. So I guess it's 16 plus 16 minus something in common. Got to work that out, I could do that. Then, can I work out the area of that circle? Because then I can just subtract the area of the circle. So there's three pieces, okay. Area of one square, got it. Area of two overlapping squares, that's my next sub-problem. I, I probably do that. Sub-problem three is the area of the circle. I need to work that one out, so it's a little sub-version of the problem. And then the answer will be that area here minus the area of the circle. There's the strategy. Do I know the radius of the circle? Radius R, radius R. Hmm, I wonder if it does touch, because that would be two, and that would also be the rest of the two. After all, that's four. There's a right triangle. Oh, maybe I can work out the radius of that circle. Ha, huh. a lot going on here. Does it touch? Am I correct? Can I actually work out the radius? Think about it. Lot to think about here, actually. This is subtle. This is subtle stuff, but I love it. Play with it. Get some numbers going. See if you can actually prove some geometry. Does this little corner here touch the circle? Or, you know, we just guess and hopefully does and cross our fingers and see if we get the right answer. But actually, mathematically, I do want to know, do, do they touch? This is good stuff. A lot to think about. When you're ready, mull on it, try it out, and then check the answer that goes with this essay. Oh, sorry, it's be the essay that goes with this video. Excuse me. Cool stuff. This is a good problem. This is really good. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more Curriculum Inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.